Hey there everyone, Ramesh here back again with another video. In this video, we will discuss one of the important questions that the beginner always asks like, is Spring Boot easy to learn? Well, if you are already know Java and want to learn Spring Boot, you might be wondering, is Spring Boot easy to learn? The simple answer is yes. Spring Boot is designed to simplify building Java applications for reducing setup and configuration time. So in this video, let us discuss why Spring Boot is easy to learn and provide some simple steps to get started. Now let us jump into why Spring Boot easy to learn. The first reason is less configuration. One of the main reasons Spring Boot is easy to learn is that it takes care of a lot of the configuration for you. In traditional Spring projects, you had to set up many things manually like configuring XML files or configuring Java based configuration or adding dependencies. So Spring Boot handles much of this automatically. So this saves your time and lets you focus on writing your business logic for the application. The second reason is auto configuration. Spring Boot's auto configuration feature is a huge help for beginners. Based on the dependencies you add in your project, Spring Boot will automatically configure your project. For example, if you add a Spring Boot starter web dependency, Spring Boot will automatically set up the necessary settings for building web applications as well as RESTful web services. You don't have to manually configure a lot of settings. Spring Boot does for you. Okay. Third reason is embedded web server. Spring Boot includes the embedded web servers like Tomcat. So you don't have to set up the external server for deployment. You can run your application directly after writing your code. So this make it much simpler to develop and test web applications without worrying about server configuration. The fourth reason is lots of documentation and tutorials. Spring Boot has a excellent documentation and tutorials available. Whether you prefer text based tutorials or video based tutorials or books or community support. So there are a plenty of resources help you to learn Spring Boot step by step. So this makes learning Spring Boot even you know easier for beginners. So these are the reasons why Spring Boot is easy to learn. So before learning Spring Boot, just go ahead and learn the Spring Core fundamentals like dependency injection, Spring IOJ container, different ways to configure the Spring Beans like XML based configuration, Java based configuration, annotation based configuration and learn the Spring AOV. Okay, so just go ahead and learn all these Spring Core fundamentals so that it will help you to learn Spring Boot even much, you know, simpler and easier way. Alright, it will help you to learn Spring Boot in depth. Okay, next let us take a look into the steps that you can follow to learn Spring Boot. If you already know Java, learning Spring Boot can be a smooth process. So first step is like set up your development environment like download the JDK, the latest version and install in your machine. Next choose the ID, you can choose IntelliJ IDEA or Eclipse, I am going to suggest to use IntelliJ IDEA. Next, choose the build tool like Maven or Gradle. So I'm going to suggest a Maven build tool for beginners. So just go ahead and set up your development environment by using these tools. Next, create a Spring Boot project with Spring Initializer. Well, you can use Spring Initializer to create and set up your Spring Boot project. So Spring Initializer is basically a web tool that you can quickly use to create and set up the Spring Boot project. And you can download the project. So once you download the project, you can import in your ID. Next start writing a simple rest apis so once you develop the rest apis then run the spring boot application and then test the restful web services next learn the advanced features like connect your spring boot application with the database build some more rest apis like crude rest apis and learn how to secure your spring boot rest apis okay so just start with you know these steps and gradually learn the advanced spring boot stuff Okay, well, if you want to learn Spring Boot in depth, I have already created a roadmap to learn the Spring Boot in depth. So I will give, you know, link of that video in a, this video description, then you can go ahead and check it out. Okay, great. 